Anyway. All right, so tell me, what did you think about Mungua's last fight? Because he came in with a win against Saddam Ali. Why? In his second fight, his defense didn't look that great. What did you think of his last performance? I mean, he, he did exactly what he was supposed to do. He still didn't look that impressive to me. You know, Brandon Cook, Cook was the guy that he's supposed to go in there and, and get out of there within three rounds. He did what he was supposed to do, but I still think he got hit a little. He kind of looked a little slow to me. And, uh, but he did. He got the job done. He did what he was supposed to do, but he still didn't impress me at all. He has a belt at light. I mean, at a junior middleweight. Uh -huh. Would you consider him an elite fighter? Or just the guy that has a belt and is lucky? Man, not right now because he's still young. You know, elite, definitely not. But, you know, he, he still got room to grow. You know, he's 21. He's a new champion. Uh, he's doing he's doing right by fighting frequently and getting the experience. As on that stage, you know, he just fought an undercover pay-per-view fight. And, uh, you know, he's getting the experience. But I don't think he, he needs to rush at all. He needs to keep on working, working, get a few years of some fights under his belt before he step up in, into competition. Do you think he could hang with any other other champions at that weight class? No, no. not me, me nor Jamil. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, what does he do though? Because he has a belt, he can't say no. Why? why? Somebody I mean, come knocking at the door. That's the thing though. Like I said, <laughs> if his team was smart, he they wouldn't put him in there with us right now. They allow him to keep making fights and uh, you know step up, keep stepping up in competition, but not go for unification yet. Of course, I want the unification, but I don't know how long we're hanging around 54. So realistically, to me. Knowing that they on the HBO side too with with uh, top ranking all uh, all he was top rank right yeah uh, with top ranking yeah, them yeah. guy it'll be hard to make the fight and I'm not gonna sit around 154 long so longer than probably next year so who knows what oh, my bad. I'm sorry I gotta uh, adjust that he's not with top rank he's 50% with Golden Boy and 50% with somebody else okay okay yeah. well HBO either way side. it's tougher to make those fights when they're not on this side with Showtime and everybody. Gotcha, gotcha. Right. Speaking of 154, what do you think about Erickson Lubin? Do you think he'll be at that elite level again or? Uh, yeah, man, you know, we got to see his comeback because, you know, when you take a devastating loss like that, some guys don't get back in the ring and, 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 and you know, live up to the potential they, they was once before. But we'll see, man. We'll see how his comeback is. He did get caught with a good shot. I know that's devastating to some fighters, you know. Uh, but if he can come back, you know, mentally and, and get back in the ring, he can be good because he, he is a good fighter, don't get me wrong, you know, but he just got caught. Do you think he's maybe too small for that division? No, I don't think he's too there's small. There's some monsters at that yeah, weight yeah. Class, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he sized up pretty good against Jamil when uh, they faced off during the fight. Mm -hmm. He didn't look that small, so I don't think he's too small for the weight class. But, um, you know, I, I like to see man how that fight would have went if he didn't get caught with that one shot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I heard you say, you said earlier, you might not stick around at 54 for long. Right. So you can go in the middleweight? Yeah, I'm going to move up the middleweight, man. You know, I'm already huge for the weight class. And, uh, you know, one thing I don't want to do, I don't want to keep losing too much weight. Every, at, between fights, I'm getting more and more weight as as uh, putting on in between fights. And uh, I don't want to keep dropping too much weight to get down to the weight, even though I can make it. Uh, Cause that that's when you when you start losing so much weight after you start losing water in the brain and things like that. I don't want to I don't want to experience all that man. So right. going on to next year, I'm gonna try to move up and uh, take over 160. How many four fights before you move up? Uh, I my my plan at least three more, mm -hmm. but if it take more than that, I'm not moving up until I fight Jamil. Okay, so, right, so you'll so stick around I, for Jamil. Jamil, there you go. If I fight Jamil, then I move up.